Chilbaca, really cool name. I've looked through the videos, but maybe I missed it. Are there any good data on biochar humic acid products for warm season grass quality? Is there good evidence anywhere supporting use of sea kelp? Even big name brands now are advertising its benefits, but it's unclear to me. Yeah, it's pretty much unclear to everybody, okay? <laughs> so don't feel bad, Chilbaca, okay? It's not clear to many people at all. And there's a couple articles I'll end up going over, but don't feel bad. It ain't it ain't clear. There, if it's not clear to like the average homeowner, don't assume that it's it's obviously clear to researchers because it's not always the case. Okay, so I replied back to him. I'll go over these topics in the future. In the meantime, I would not spend money on any soil related product until water, light, temperature, and injury are accounted for. If those risk factors are accounted for, and I got to soil products. I would not spend any money on any soil product until nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, and potentially pH are at optimum levels. By that time, it is unlikely that other soil-related products would be worth the money. Okay, so what I'm trying to go over there is this this risk factor pyramid that I have a whole whole episode based on this this pyramid. And what I've told Chilbaca is that I wouldn't spend any money on soil products until I got all the way up to the top of this pyramid. I checked off the water box, the light box, the temperature box, and the injury box. Then, even when I got to the fertile soil box on this pyramid, within that box, I wouldn't do anything until I checked off the nitrogen box, the phosphorus box, the potassium box, and the pH box. Okay. Once I checked off those three or four element boxes, and I still haven't solved the problem, then maybe I would consider something else. Okay. Some, one of these sea kelp products or humichar or whatever these products are. Okay. That's a, the, by the time you get to all those steps and you got all the water optimized, the light optimized temperature, and you've checked off all that stuff, there's no injury. You've checked off the nitrogen, the phosphorus, potassium, pH. The chances of you curing or solving the problem that you're seeing are pretty high. You're probably going to solve it by going up the pyramid in that fashion. But if you don't, by that point, then perhaps some of these other products might give you a little bit of a benefit. That would be my take on that for now.